everyone, it's Dems151 and welcome to Alton Park with the Renault Clios. As you can see, I am I am, I am in the blue and black and white with a little red on Renault Clio. Just alongside me is Sponge in the Project Cars Clio and just behind me in the blue and black and white Clio, we're all in very similar colour Clios just to make life awkward, is Jake44, uh, all from the Power Max team. I will apologise now, as you may notice, if you do watch my videos regular, my voice sounds a little bit croaky. Uh, I'm losing my voice, I want my voice back. Um, so, Alton Park, we thought we'd have a little dabble with the Cleos, we haven't raced with them in a while, and look at Jake alongside me as we go under the bridge. Now it's very tight, this section, well, all the Alton Park's very tight, so he just nips in front, I lift off the throttle just to let him pass. There's no point in going in that corner side by side if he could be contact. But now I get a great run back down the inside as we head down into the last corner. Breaking that a little bit later, but he's he's more or less to say we're still side by side. Jay runs onto the Astro Turf. We're still side by side out of the exit. And there's a number 30 car trying to get involved. I'm not sure who that was. He wasn't part of our group. But he's making a good challenge of it as well. And Jay runs wide onto the grass, bouncing about. Just makes a little bit of contact with me. And now the number 30 car challenging Jake. Down this fast section track. Sponge has got that little lead. It's the shorter version of Alton Park. The Alton Park Forest uh, track. So it's just straight down the hill and then a quick right. He's... That makes it feel like a really fast flowing track. It's already a fast flowing track. Now, it's time to try and close that gap on Sponge. You can see Jake's still just behind me. Just hovering about. I'm, I'm aware he's there. I'm, I'm making sure that I'm closing that gap from, to Sponge, but I'm making sure that he doesn't make any sort of lunge. He's so under break. He closed right down up to the back end of my Cleo. You will be seeing more of these Clios when it comes to us lot for the Power Max uh, sim racing team as there's, there's going to be some Clio Cups championships at some point with little prizes, uh, trophies and stuff like that um, and um, uh, some sort of money prize for the winner and this, that and the other and look at that fight in the car, it's already fully sideways going into the, the sharp right hander and up the hill we go again now. The gap to Jake is uh, a lot bigger. In fact, he's dropped down into fourth. He doesn't finish the race. So now it's down to me and Sponge. We've got a big gap. You can see Jake just there in fourth place at the moment. In that little gaggle of uh, two or three cars. Now the gap. The gap up to Sponge is, is roughly around the second second mark was maybe a little bit more so it's easily manageable can catch him up so down into the old hill corner bend lifting off the accelerator still in fifth gear using all that bit of astroturf what works a wonder it's really fast section, you're better off just lifting off, you're not paying dabbing the brakes until now. Well you do more of it more than dabbing and you can see Sponge runs a tad wide, which gives me the opportunity to just close that gap a little bit more. I forgot how fun the Cleos are to drive, obviously with the Ginetta GT4 championship, uh, which is going really well for a hamster race, obviously when we came here last week. Uh we did have a torrid race, let's put it that way. Uh, we're still fifth in the championship at the moment. Hamster, a couple of hamster. Nathan, he's had, well joint top at the moment. Sponge in about third. Falcon down in about twelfth. He's had a, 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 a struggling championship. Not all his own fault neither. But we're still doing well and we're still fighting away in the power match, guys. A bit lower down there. Struggled um, a lot as well in the championship. Not always. Oh, not always down to them neither and look at how close I've reeled in the gap with Sponge like I said we've not raced the Cleos much lately obviously with the uh, championship possibly coming up um, we're going to be doing a lot more of them and it was good to get back in them 
they're, they're so fun to drive and the racing's so close with them as well as you can see now I'm, that gap two sponge has closed right down you can have some brilliant battles with these Cleos as you may have seen in the other epic race series most of them are Cleos one two uh, GT3 ones but the Cleos are really fun to drive and really fun to battle with I have a little look just basically saying hello sponge I'm here and I'm I'm gonna attempt an overtake at some point so the gap a lot closer now breathing down his neck headlights ablaze as you can see in the replay view just hovering around the back only a couple of laps to go just running use the astroturf, the astroturf. use it he doesn't he doesn't really gain you much time but it gives you the same sort of pace as you you go through the corner you don't lose any traction or anything and really close to him now As we head up the hill, just clipping that grass on the inside, it just helps the car bounce round. It, it basically drags the front end in and a little flash of the headlights. As you know, I never flash my headlights. I'm sure some people will uh, comment on that. If so, in the comment section below. <laughs> and we head into the final corner. So Sponge is still got a gap. Using the curb, I'm just hovering around the back of him. There's still uh, another. Uh, this will be two laps to go now over the line. You may notice I'm talking a lot less, it is because of my voice. I do apologise. I just run that a bit too wide this time using the AstroTurf and then clipping the grass. It cost me a couple of seconds. There, the back end totally getting out, but he get back on the throttle and he drags that front end round and hitting the kerb too hard now. The car bouncing over onto two wheels. Sponge having a little problem on the exit as well now. We head up the hill again to this real tight, thin bit of track. Breaking hard. Fourth gear, just back into fifth, like the. Car oh, just drift out wide onto this curb. Now, get a run into the final corner. I'm taking an attacking position. Took back out. Sponge breaks. He doesn't break early enough and he, he runs a tad wide. Side by side up the hill. As we go across the line to start the final lap. Just in front. Now, I took onto the racing line. It's all hill bend. Just keeping close to that inside again, running onto the Astro Sponge, following me round. Now it's for me to to judge where Sponge may possibly attack the back end, just wanting to go again a correct steer. Sponge very close, back up onto two wheels, don't need that. Now look at how close he is. He's having a little lonely, not enough room there, so he tucks back behind. As we head up the hill, in third place, uh, he... I'm really far behind now was to have took command of this race and dragged out the guy we've not slowing ourselves down by battling too much until now where basically he's attached himself to my rear bumper I'm going to have to take a defensive line into this final bend on the final lap he looks to go around the outside I keep it as close to the inside as possible run a bit wide but he's got more speed on the exit of the corner on the final lap over the line and he's going to come down the inside but not quick enough and there you go I've won the race by what a bumper of a Renault Clio if you've enjoyed this please remember to like subscribe and comment in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video where hopefully I have my voice back thank you and goodbye <laughs>